Hello, my lovelies. Happy Thursday to everybody. Welcome to Design Me Devon. We are here today again, renovating one of your lovely builds that you put under the Design Me Devon hashtag on the gallery. Um, this one's really lovely. I have already renovated it as we speak. I've done it a different way around this time. Um, so we're still going to go and have a look at what it looked like before. And then obviously we'll go into the speed build portion where you see me renovate it. And then you see the before and after shots after. That's how it goes. That is exactly how it goes. Now, I didn't realize this either, but the builder of this particular build, I have already renovated one of your builds before. <laughs> I didn't even realize it. I was like, I recognize this username and it turns out I have. So I'm back again, renovating another one of your builds. So thank you very much. Uh, enough waffling on. Let's get on over and I will in introduce you to the creator and show you the build. So here we are, my darlings. This is the mid-century house and it is done by Super Kakoi. I remember renovating your, was it the blue stone something this one here poor punker blue stone i remember renovating that one um i can't remember if i did it on my channel or on youtube or on twitch but i definitely did it on one of them um so i'm here again oh look at that lovely build as well we're just gonna have a snoop for your gallery while we're here darling that's lovely lovely little island home um and yes this is what we're going to be renovating today the mid-century and this is an oasis springs darlings i'm never i would never build an oasis springs it's my um least favorite world it is and some people out there that might be your favorite it's just how we differ isn't it it's those it's that it's that kind of thing it's not a bad thing it's, you know quite calm anyway so gareth and lewis lewis or lewis has have been trying to buy in Oasis Springs for years, but have been constantly been outbidded by the land grabs. Those medicine, dirty buggers. They have renovated, they have rented this mid-century home off their landlord, Bertie. And feeling for their situation, Bertie offered to sell the home to Gareth and Lewis so Bertie can depart to Toza and live out his boomer European retirement dreams. <laughs> I love that. After completing the purchase, Bert, Bertie donated all of his garish furniture and belongings which Gary, Gareth and Louis, or Lewis cannot wait to get rid of. The couple were inspired by Design Me Devon and helps, um, and hopes he can modernise this bargain and revive it from its mid-century nightmare. So this is what we've got to tackle today, darling. So we're going to flop on over now, and I'm going to show you the build. And here she is in game. So we're in Oasis Springs, loves. Um, I love this build. It's such a simple design, but it just really, it's just clean. Everything works. I love this staircase on the outside here. Um, I just really loved it. I didn't change too much of the um, actual shape of the build. I got rid of this flat roof in the end and started, I went for a bit more of a winged sort of um, mid-century vibe to kind of tie in with this little carport area over here, which I love as well. I kept that completely the same. I think I changed this into stone um we're gonna go around to the back garden now as well let's get some better lighting back here please there we are so garden i hardly changed this as well like i kept the garden the same obviously we tart we tart the pool up a bit make the pool look a little bit less like poo water um and i got rid of most of the landscaping as well as lovely as your landscaping is i really wanted this to be a bit more arid a little bit more desert vibe so I got rid of a lot of the greenery and went with kind of lighter greens and stuff like that. Um, I changed all of the windows. We modernized the window slightly. And I also changed the layout of this down here. I'm not going to like sort of go into it too much because I'm going to let you guys see that in the speed build. But um, so love little entertaining space. Look at these brown carpets. Look at these brown carpets. And you'll be shocked to know, but I kept a lot of the furniture because... The furniture was very mid-century. We did go for a very updated mid-century retro vibe throughout the whole house. Um, I really wanted to do that. There's like a big like activity skill room in here, a utility room here and a bathroom down on this level with this huge garage down here as well. And then upstairs, there are kind of four bedrooms, really. One of them is used as like a yoga room. Um, everything's obviously very outdated and could do a very good fresh up. Living room, I kept the same. I kept it all of there um and kitchen i kept there as well but i did change the shape of it up here slightly and we go for a three bedroom house just so i can broaden the space up a little bit and make it a little bit wider so we end up doing that as well darlings we do we end up doing it 
and it just really really worked really did um but i'm not going to go into too much about what i did to this place we're going to flop on over together now and um give this place a nice renovation so obviously guys if you want to go and download this you know where to find it by now super kakoi and then you can do it yourself renovate it yourself but let's get on over and let's get into the speed build portion so here we are my darlings on to the speed build portion so this is me cleaning up everything that i didn't want and um, so all of the windows all of the doors well no some of the doors i kept i kept a few of them uh the landscaping everything that i just knew that i didn't want in this house um i got rid of i got rid of and we put it back in and make it look very nice and age um but yeah really again i always enjoy always enjoy renovating your guys lots but this one i just loved because i loved kind of going for that kind of retro vibe that updated fresher looking retro vibe which we did and i love it i get rid of most of this in here but i keep a lot of like the i even go for that leopard print um rug and i make that work as well darlings down in the entertaining space that is on the ground floor level so this is me just making this a blank canvas so i put all of the plasterboard up um and the cement flooring and we get rid of that section of the house there i just think that was just a little bit too big for what i wanted down on that level now ignore what i'm doing here um this is what i had in my head in the beginning just this side with that kind of like shaped roof um and i don't mind that i don't mind it at all but i end up going for a winged side on the other side as well and it just gives it a nice kind of dynamic look to the place yes it does and i keep the wallpaper as well on the exterior i like that kind of sandy brick i think it suits um i think it suits this area of um oasis springs i just think the the color tones really work i do go for a few accents of the stone as well though i can't remember where i put it all i think it was all on the ground floor um but i keep a lot of that brick and i just think it yeah i just think it works it works i'm here for it um and that's all I need to say on the matter. So this is the downstairs floor plan that we're working with now. So this is going to be a very big, open, entertaining media space. Well, we've gone back up now into the kitchen. Um, I didn't want to put a TV upstairs. Main reasons are being. It was just a bit too tight of a space up here. It was quite a narrow space. So I end up keeping um, the kind of media all downstairs with a game table, bar, all of that kind of good stuff. And I put on those modern windows on that area as well with that big glass sliding door. But I still wanted to keep the aspect or the feel of the this build. Yes, it's been modernized, but a few of the windows, I wanted them to look, feel a little bit more mid-century. So these longer sort of like windows, they give me a mid-century vibe. They're from, a lot of the windows are from Eco Lifestyle, Eco Living, one of them. Um, so yes, we end up using a lot of them. And the best thing about Eco Lifestyle is with the windows is they're very cheap very cheap indeed so you don't need to worry about budgets and stuff so much when you're working with eco eco yeah. eco lifestyle eco, what was that about no idea no idea i'm having a, a day today i really am um a good day but things have happened loves but yeah i've winged up that side of the house now as well um and i just think it just gives it a little bit of something something and i I don't know what that something is, but I'm for it. And I've got a hair on my face again. Very annoying. Um, but yeah, into the back garden. We keep a lot of the furniture, as I said. But I go for this little, like, bar moment out here. Um, ignore where I put it in the beginning. I think we move it slightly more in. And I put a shelter over the top of it as well. But we'll get to that bit in a minute. Um, just wanted a nice little pool moment here. So we've cleaned up the pool. The pool man has been. He has cleaned it. And we do this little kind of like barbecue slash bar area outside here. Now, I didn't put a bar on this. And I really wish I did now. So maybe you can go and do that. Um, or maybe I can even go and do that before I put it up on the gallery. I'll do that. So this here, I'm obviously using the base game counters. Um, and I was just like, oh, this feels a bit too big. And then I was like, oh, it just looks like it's been plonked there. There's no area for it do you know what i mean so i end up moving this right back to where that stone pillar is up there above me uh and then i put a shelter over the top of it as well so because you can imagine in this kind of like area it would get so hot like there that's that's where i put it now on the pillar and then i do this little like um shelter movement over the top of it as well and in the end i end up putting a shower on the outside of this as well so 
Um, I left the gap by the barbecue completely free. And then I put like a half wall in and then I end up putting a full wall in with a shower there raised up on a platform. So you can shower before you get in the pool. Yeah, you know, all of that kind of good stuff. Um, and this is just me wanting to add a little bit more greenery into this lot. And then I was like, oh, this soil is a little bit too dark for this area. And I was like, why is it not deleting? Getting confused. And I was like, ah, it's flooring. <laughs> so I end up get, going through, deleting all that flooring and getting in a bit more of a drier looking flower bed just to kind of like sort of match in with this area i like to think about things like this weirdly when i'm building like what where they are what kind of little details you can add in to make it better um and that's what i did that's what i did so in the beginning i had that half wall in there and i kind of like it i left the square at the top of the barbecue so all the smoke can't can kind of get out um but we end, as i said we end up putting a shower there instead so yeah, I did have a lot of fun. Did have a lot of fun doing this build. I really did. Uh, I did do put a picnic table here, shockingly enough. We end up going for a little picnic table in this area. Uh, and I just used one of those plastic ones. I was going for that kind of kitschy, but very modernized vibe um, in this house. And I think I pulled it off quite nicely. And I like the color palette. Quite light, neutral, but then with pops of color here and there. I just think it works. So this is the media room downstairs. So this is just off of the um, garden area. So this is where I put in like a big cinema screen with those modular um, sofas. We put the bar in here as well. Uh, and we put in the games table too. And I just I just think it really works. And I ended up like, that's the bar that was already here. Um, so I ended up using a lot of stuff that was already in this house, even though they did say that they wanted to get rid of them. I was like, we can, we can use it. We're going to go for something fresher, a bit better, modern. Um, and I just think it worked. I really do think it worked. Uh, here, I end up changing out the end of that sofa for a coffee table. And we end up kind of like making it look like it's almost part of the sofa. Um, I'm kind of here for that vibe. And that is where I end up putting in that zebra rug as well. <laughs> we put it down in that room and it just really works for some reason and i can't bear animal print on anything is not for me um but yeah this is that little shower moment that i'm gonna do so we end up just putting a little shower moment out by the pool area there stunning here for it absolutely lovely now this is me just blending in the world a little bit more it's quite a big lot this one so um i end up just trying to blend in the world around it a little bit more using a lot of the same plants and yeah, I just think it kind of like helped it because that was a big space there and I didn't want to use that space too much. But, you know, je ne sais quoi plus. So this is the utility room. This is down on the same floor level as the entertaining space. So I do a big utility room with obviously washer, dryer. They've got a uh, um, clothes line outside as well. So all of your laundry needs are met within this house. It really is. Um, and I'm doing that shelf thing where you saw well where you size it up and put it on top of the washing machine just because i hate looking at the top of those washing machines for some reason i don't know why i just really dislike them uh, i would like some new washing machines i know we've got some custom content ones uh, but i would love to see if the sims would do some new washing machines maybe do some base game ones but then wouldn't that render laundry day yeah that would render that pack useless wouldn't it they didn't think this through did they didn't think it through but very nice. What am I looking for here? I have no idea. Oh, a hoover. A hoover. I was going to go for the retro one. I was like, nope, they're modernizing it, Aiden. Get yourself a lovely hoover in there. So this is the main entrance here. There is also that staircase outside where you can walk straight up and get into the living room. So there are two access points plus stairs inside of the house this time. And um, before renovation, there was obviously only one staircase or two staircases, but they were both outside. I really wanted a staircase to be inside. So... I obviously put, made the garage a lot smaller and um, put some stairs in here. And I was able to put a toilet down on this level as well, which I don't think I show you how I furnish because I'll show you how I furnish the main one upstairs. So there are two bathrooms, two bathrooms, three bedrooms uh, in this whole house. So it kind of works out rather gorgeously indeed. Yes, it does. What am I doing here? Oh, getting some pictures up. This is me going and pulling loads of the stuff that i already left here um I, I end up pulling it into this house and utilizing it not really use that flooring either forget where that flooring's from to be honest with you um no idea i'm sure someone will let people know in the comments but i have no idea where it's from um kitchen onto the kitchen now i really liked how the kitchen came out in the end it took me a little while to figure out 
a sort of shape and a floor plan of it. Um, but I think it came together in the end quite nicely. I do think it came together in the end quite nicely. The only thing that pissed me off with this was the colour of the cupboards. Even though they are the complete matching cupboard to this kitchen, they just look completely different. The actual colour just looks weird. Um, and you'll see that in just a second. It, it really, it ruined my day. It didn't ruin my day. I'm being dramatic, but it did piss me off a little bit. I won't lie to that. I won't lie to that, darlings. <laughs> but I just like how this um, this space kind of flows through. I managed to get a dining room and a small little lounge area in this space. Um, and I just think it looks a lot fresher with the, the color palette. Very neutral. This is probably the most neutral room out of all of the rooms in this build. This is the most neutral area, is the main kind of like living space as opposed to the entertaining space. Excuse you, Blue, I'm trying to record. I don't know if you heard that. They snorted very loudly in the background. Um, but yeah, do love it. Really, really cool um, place for your Sims as well. I made sure to do a children's bedroom plus two double bedrooms. So you can move a family into it quite easily. And it's a big enough space to... Um, have a larger family because it's a very big lot you could extend out you could do a lot of things now look at this wood tone compared to the wood tone below it i know it's not much but that makes me fuming what is that about what is that about why is that bright orange i don't think they've ever worked the cabinets like overhead cabinets in the sims 4 have always had such problems with color like, i don't know what it is this is me trying to figure it out and i'm just like no nope, that's just a sims problem not mine moving on um <laughs> So we move on we move on i tried them in white but it was looking too stark in here i wanted to warm it up slightly and um, so i ended up going for those colors instead with the cup with the cabinet tray cabinet tray i just think it works well it does onto the dining room so using that lovely mirror that came with that oh, i always forget what the pack's called that maximalism pack um i really love the mirror i do i do love the mirror and i love those chairs those dining chairs are my favorite chairs in the game they really are love them Love these sofas as well. Um, I end up getting rid of one of these sofas and the one on the left hand side. I end up getting rid of that one and putting in um, the record player instead. It doesn't need a massive living space up here because of the room downstairs. This is just a small little living space that I really wanted. And I was like, I'm adamant I'm going to be using this lamp. And that was the kind of like best sort of matching one I could find. That kind of bronzy gold colour. Um, and I just think it suited it. It does suit it up here. It's pissing me off. I don't know where that flooring's from. Nor that um, wallpaper. The wall, Not the brick. The actual wood wallpaper. I just thought they both kind of suited this area. Went with that retro kind of vibe. Um, I was trying to make this work as well. This armchair that I had. And it doesn't look too bad now I'm looking at it. Like in here. But I just, I end up like, no. I don't like the use of the space with that here. And I just get rid of it. And this is us getting rid of that um sofa and putting the record player up here i just think it works very nicely indeed um very nicely and then i just put on a little um bookshelf over here as well from snowy escape but i just think it's very clean and fresh and modern but i'm still kind of nodded to that retro vibe that we've got going on um yeah and i'm happy that i did that i'm happy that i didn't go full kind of modern do you know what i mean um but yeah anyway into the kind of mat the master bedroom i would say is the is the, the, the most of them are kind of the same size the bedrooms but this one here to me it just felt like a master bedroom so that's what we did ended up making it into a master room simple room as well very clean um everything in its right space but just little pops of color in this room just that slight little hue of yellow which I'm absolutely for. And I just think it works really nicely with that light colored, like timber. Um, Yeah, into it. Absolutely into it. Now into a, oh, in fact, it wasn't a double bedroom. It was a single bedroom, but you could easily make this a double bedroom if you wanted. Um, So maybe a teen lives in this room. I kind of have my um sort of head in a teen space with their own desk and whatnot. Now I've already pre-planned the room, so that's why I'm just pulling everything out. Um, But I just think this kind of like, room would you would be easily be able to fit a double bed in there quite easily um but it did come together quite nicely and i popped in a little bit more color in there as well now into the children's bedroom so a double bunk bed so a family of five and i went there one two three four hang on one two four 
Family of six could live in this house quite easily. Did you do? I was counting on my fingers then. Maths is not my thing. I'm gay. You know, gays are always bad at one thing. And mine is maths. Never been good at maths. Um, not at all. But this is the children's bedroom. And I went for a kind of a pinkier tone vibe to here. Or vibe here. But, um... Oh, I just liked it. I liked it. It was a bit kitschy, this one, but you, I, it allowed me to have a little bit of fun with it, but still keeping it the classy, you know? Keeping it classy, classy vibes, and I'm for it. And I think the last, I think we're nearly finished now. Yeah, we've got one minute left. The last room is the main bathroom. So this is the main family bathroom on that same floor level as all the bedrooms. Uh, so it's got a shower, it's got a bath, it's got a bath, it's got two sinks and a toilet. Um, and I kind of like how this came out. I end up getting rid of that air. Uh, oh, I do. There we go. I was just about to say, I don't like that divider that I've used there. Um, and I put the shower in this little bit and then the bath in that little nook there. And I just think it very much works indeed. Really, really does. But keep them coming, the builds for Simon Devon, my loves. Because I am always looking through them to see which ones. And you don't have to worry. They don't have to be British. They can be anything. So just keep them coming and I will um ca carry on with this series until the day i die tell you um so yeah just keep them coming keep them coming i'm gonna leave you now because i think we're gonna be going we are have a lovely um no i'll see you tomorrow sorry i was gonna say have a lovely weekend i'll be back tomorrow with that build generator challenge um and i'll see you then goodbye <laughs>